Hey guys, I got a lot of questions about how you guys get the stuff from Apple shipped in and this is the box that you would get it in. So I got it shipped in by UPS. Now it does depend what country you guys are from. Um, it doesn't have to be UPS, but in this case, yes, I got it delivered by UPS. This is the type of box that you would get it in. And yes, this is the second MacBook Air I'm getting and it's the same color. So I should have maybe got a different color to show you guys, but I just want to make this quick video of how you guys would get the package. Anyways, it was dropped off in front of my door and they just left it there. They did ring the bell. We were at home luckily, but even if you're not home, they're just gonna leave it there just in case. And right now I'm just gonna open this up. And inside of here is the MacBook Air. So this is the latest one, the M1 version. And here we go. So that's all that's inside the box where you guys get it shipped in. It's pretty small box that it comes in. Other than that, it's just a regular MacBook Air M1. I did get this color again. That's because I really like that color. That dark color looks really good. And it is sealed all the way around. So that's the normal thing that you would get with these unboxings. Anyways, I already did an unboxing about this one, but I'll do one again, just more about the box itself. Now I'm just gonna take this off. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. Let me just shake it a little bit to actually get it out. It's pretty tight in there. I gotta say, I remember this being that tight the first time I unboxed it. Anyways, seems to be a little bit more tight than the other time. So here it is, here's the MacBook Air. Let's just take it out. And this is where you would get inside. And yes, that's all we get. This, which is a USB-C. So just remember, everything about your MacBook Air, even a MacBook Pro that's brand new, the M1, it's all about USB-C. And that's about it. So we do get that cable inside here. We do get the charger, so don't forget about that. This is basically one of the most important things about this unboxing. And I do want to mention that this part does come off. Why does that come off? Well, that's because you guys can hook up an extension here. So if you guys want your wire to go a lot longer, you can, but you have to pay that separately. But now I'm just gonna plug this back in here and we can go ahead and hook it up. Now here's the cable again that we get with it. Now, yes, this is to charge our MacBook Air. And it's not too long, but it's just long enough. Again, you could purchase an extension if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put this on the side. And inside here, we get the basics. So the stickers, manuals, and all that stuff. However, I already have a manual uploaded on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check that out. I also have a setup video uploaded already. And also other videos about tips and tricks if you're brand new into Mac. For now, I'm just gonna place this here. And let's take a look at our brand new Mac. So let's just open this up. Now when I'm looking around the Mac, I do see there's something here. Okay, it's not a scratch. Okay, it's nothing. But you do want to take a look at the entire Mac all the way around. So this is the bottom of it. And I always make sure to take a look at everything just in case. Just in case. But yeah, it's very easy to get my fingerprints on it. I already got all my fingerprints. So I guess that's the bad thing about it. And if I open it up, there should be this paper inside. There we go. And it should just turn on by itself. They always do that. These new MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros just turn on as soon as you open them up. If they don't, the power key is right here. So on the top right hand side, you will see the power key. That's not just for your fingerprint, but also to turn it on. And it is a button. At this point in time, we can see the startup screen. So that's all normal. But basically what you see right here is everything that you do get inside the box. There's nothing else. I would like to highlight that right here we have USB-C. So that's Thunderbolt 3. And we only have two of these. And then on the other side, We've only got this, this which are your headphones, for example. But that's it, there's no more connections. So I highly suggest buying a USB-C hub. And that way you guys will be able to plug in USB sticks, or hard drives and whatever you guys like. Anyways, as far as this video goes, that would be it. It was just meant to be a really quick video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.